Hi everyone and welcome to the Better Everyday YouTube channel. My name is Randy. So today I am checking out, let me make the box show up. The video is titled, titled Some Thoughts by Carl Pilkington. And from what I understand, and correct me if I'm wrong, it's a compilation of different video clips where Carl Pilkington is just kind of expressing his thoughts. And he has such a unique thought process a lot of the times anyway. A lot of the things I've seen from Carl, I don't think I could have come up with, or at least not the way he's came up with things. Um, if you haven't been to my channel before, I've watched all of An Idiot Abroad, and I'm on my last season of The Ricky Gervais Show, and I've watched a couple of, 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 of other things with Carl, Ricky, and Steve now. Also, I have a cigarette. I'll try to keep it off of camera as much as possible. I'm just out of time, and I want to watch this before I finish up. Um, anyway, I'm excited, so without further ado, here we go. What's that volume? Just been in the zoo, having a look around and that. Went into the, uh, into the aquarium. Okay, I can hear it nice. Mental the amount of fish that are knocking about. They keep saying like, uh, you know, sea levels are rising and all this and it's because the icebergs are, are melting. It's not to do with the icebergs melting, it's because it's there's too many fish in it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Get rid of some of the fish, <laughs> water will drop. Simple, basic science. Yeah. There you go, there's, there's a little fish. That's a lot of Another fish. One. Same as the oh, last cute. one, really, just swimming about, doing nothing. Pointless. <laughs> The weirdest thing that I saw in there is, uh, it's got to be this. Right, look at that. Little sloth. Oh, sloth. It's called a sloth, right? Which suggests that it's lazy, and yet yeah. we're saving them. Look at it. I mean, the zoo shuts at like 5.30, right? So animals can have a kip. Yeah. So, by rights, that should be awake now. <laughs> 14 quid a pay to come in here. Look, can't be bothered opening his eyes. <laughs> it's lazy bums. I don't know if it's cruel or not Beautiful. to sort of have them in there. You know what I mean? Look, that one's not stressed out. If you look at it, it looks quite happy. So, don't know why they worry about it. It's the same the way people sort of moan about drugs being tested on animals. I sort of think, well, it depends, doesn't it? If the drug's aspirin and the monkey's got a headache, is it tight? Do you know what I mean? I'm always looking on the internet to see what weird stuff's knocking Tell about. Really quickly, always... uh, because I'm just curious, this looks like it's all one... Um, this looks like it's all one clip. But here it says three minute wonders, which makes me think I'm still in the first clip and then it will switch to a clip from a different day. Perhaps because he's obviously at the zoo, so it makes me think uh, Carl has gone to the zoo and then perhaps after his zoo visit or during his zoo visit at different intervals, they've sat down and recorded him while he's just said whatever is on his mind in there, sharing the footage of things he's shared that a person might not expect to hear. Um, or just just expect somebody to say, because it's definitely definitely a unique thought process. Anyway, sorry. I'm always looking on the internet, see what weird stuff's knocking about, because they're always finding new sort of, you know, new creatures and stuff. Uh -huh. They found this spider in the jungle, right? Three foot long, eats chicken. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. See, people moan saying, oh, you shouldn't lock animals up and, and all the rest of it, but to be honest, I wish it was locked up in there. The idea that that's roaming about yeah. in a jungle, <laughs> get it locked up. And what's weird is, why have they only just found that? Ah. Three foot long, do you know what I mean? It's, how have they missed that? <laughs> that's a good point. Noah made a bit of an error when you know he saved everything. I would have had like a little checklist as we're all getting on. Do you know what I mean? Someone checking them out, quizzing them. Right, 
What's getting on here? Right, it's a giraffe. What do they do? No, right, leave them. Next. <laughs> That's terrible. Leave the giraffe because it has no purpose. I'm skipping a little bit. Oh, nope, it's going to start. They say it all started with, uh, oh, with a big bang. But what I wonder is, right, was it a big bang? Or did it just seem big because there was no other noise to drown it out at the time? Do you know what I mean? What? Well, then like it would have had nothing to bounce off of, right? So it wouldn't have been loud if, if it had nothing to bounce off of initially. It would have been sucked out into space. Any noise would have been sucked out into space, right? It wouldn't have sounded. I have no idea what I'm talking I mean, about. I like learning stuff and that, so that's why I, I went around the museum to have a look, you know, what I could learn and stuff. I thought, oh, I'll have a look at the meteorites, that could be quite interesting. You know, yeah. see an old rock. And you go in there, and you look at a rock and you think, oh yeah, that's amazing, that's old. It's come from a, you know, another planet or something, right? But then the edge is taken off it because that isn't the only one. Do you know what I mean? Just have one, have one big one, and that to me would be more impressive than having a room full of them. Yeah, little You've pieces. You've got the same problem with the dinosaurs. Just have one, just have the, have the best one. I mean, look, how many do you need? Got <laughs> that one, that one. Not surprised they, they went extinct. They're all in here. <laughs> I just think we know too much. And when you look at the things that we can do now, you know, you can change body parts and that, can't you? Remember reading about uh, a woman she was about eight years old, right? She'd had a new lung, a new heart, liver. I think she was waiting for a kidney. You just think, well, enough's enough. Do you know what I mean? If your body's that sort of done in, call it a day. If it was a car, you'd scrap it, wouldn't you? You wouldn't keep putting new bits on it. Especially and I just think, Tesla. even you though it's Tesla. clever and everything, we've got to get to a point where we stop doing stuff like that. Because I think there's, there's too many people in the world But that's how we are. That's the problem with knowledge, Ooh. isn't it? The more we know, the more we interfere. I do wonder that if, if there was a dinosaur knocking about now, I wonder if they'd save it. Even though it was going around running riot, I do wonder if they'd go, oh, well, we don't want it to become extinct. Yeah. It's like the panda, isn't it? You say, that's dying out. But what did they do anyway? Uh -huh. you know what I mean, whenever you see them, they're just sat in the woods eating. This dead one here is probably just as active as one that's alive. So, that's if you want to see one, just come and see this. That's life. I wonder what the place is that he is at, that zoo, and then this museum. I'm just going to go ahead and assume that they're in England somewhere. Um... They're huge, especially that museum. I've been to a couple of museums, but this place is huge to me. That looks like a giant blue whale. He could do like That's audiobooks funny, funny. That's what happens. with his thoughts. Things come and go, like, like the dodo did. That died out because it was designed badly. And then mm. that sort of got replaced by mm. the chicken. But at no point have I been getting stressed out that the dodo isn't knocking about anymore. Things move on. You know what I mean, yeah. just don't interfere with nature and that. Yeah. There's the end of that one. But seriously, why is that person's things blurred out? These clips and his voice, I just realized how soothing his voice is. If Carl kind of wrote a book of thoughts, whether it was paragraph and chapter format or bullet points or, you know, one page thoughts of the day, whatever, and he read it as an audiobook, I would probably buy it because his voice is very soothing. And his thoughts are interesting. I think holidays are, are pretty stressful. Because you always sort of end up doing stuff that you don't really want to do. It's just that suddenly you've got 
sort of free time on your hands that you're not used to. Mm. Last proper holiday that we had, right? went to uh, Lanzarote, and it's sold as uh, Lanzarote, the volcanic island, mm -hmm. which isn't a, a great nickname to have, is it? You know what I mean? Might as well have Lanzarote, the, the disaster zone, welcome, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, spent the week on coaches going around looking at like different volcanoes. And none of them are active. So basically, spent time looking in big holes. <laughs> Britain's too expensive though, isn't it? To sort of have weekends away and stuff. Some point last year, we, we, we went away somewhere and uh, ended up having a walk around this sort of seal sanctuary. 14 quid. They weren't doing anything, because they're ill. They weren't jumping through hoops and all that. We were just floating about, hardly moving. 14 quid. <laughs> I mean, I'm not having a go, do you know what I mean? If there's six seals, I have to have somewhere to go, but don't charge me to come in. Or at least let me see them again when they're better. Yeah, rain check. I think the best place I've been is uh, Rome. Really? It's pretty amazing. Just the amount of old stuff they've got. Do you know what I mean? Every every corner you turn, it's like, oh look at that. That's old, isn't it? Yeah. But then again, that's sort of that's the problem with it as well, because once you've been, there's no need to go back because nothing changes. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Once you've seen the Colosseum, they don't do it up. I think it's clever though how how Rome have managed to do that. They've kept basically what what is a load of old stuff. Right? There's no no overheads. Just leave it, the older it gets, the better. And yet people are paying to go over there and have a look at it. Whereas if the Colosseum was here, right, you'd have people saying, oh, that's a mess, get it knocked down. Yeah. We're talking you know, about... I've thought about, I wonder how many things we've lost, architecture um, and other historical, uh, just things. Um, have been lost. Let's say in 1950, they decided to build a bank where a library was. So they knocked the library down and built a bank, which 1950 would still be very old if it's still standing. But how many times in the last 60 years and longer, but especially the last 60 years, have have things been destroyed? or renovated or changed and in doing so caused us to lose something that you can't you know, regain not as it was if that makes sense something i was thinking about i was watching some old videos on youtube like restored videos from the 1920 where someone's strolling through let's say chicago or paris with a video camera where they've restored it and made it um, color video file. And it's just, it's beautiful looking at just back when architecture had so much more warmth and character than a lot of the newer stuff. Anyway, sorry. Getting knocked down. We're talking about uh, going to the moon trips to the moon, that's what they're working on. To the moon. I don't fancy that. I mean, at the end of the day, there's nothing there, is there? I mean, Neil Armstrong, that spaceman, yeah. he's been, hasn't he? But he hasn't been back, so <laughs> can't have been that good. <laughs> at the end of the day, it's, it's just one big rock. You might as well go to Lanzarote, if that's what you want. I don't know what Lanzarote is. Lanzarote? Vanity Projects Limited for Channel 4. Some thoughts by Carl. It was out the other day, right? A woman came up to me. She said, oh, uh, excuse me, uh, you go to the gym much? So uh, I was going to lie, but they, they find out, don't they? They say, where do you go and all that, and how many star jumps can mm. you do? She said, uh, she said, I know what's probably putting you off. She said, the fact that it's hard work, she said, it doesn't, doesn't need to be hard work. She said, come to my class. She said, what we do on Wednesday nights, breathing classes. 
classes teaching how to breathe. As I'm 32, I think I've got the hang of it. Yeah. She said, no, it's not like that, so forget it. See, I think the reason there's so many gyms in London is because of the I amount like of gay it. people who are here now. And I'm not, I'm not having a go, I'm not, I'm not complaining about it. I'm just saying gay people, they always sort of like to look after themselves, don't they? They're always sort of muscly and that. Have better self care. Tight t shirts and stuff whenever you see them. Um, um, you know what I mean? I'm not looking out for them. I'm just saying, when I do see them, they sort of muscly and that. So because there's, there's more of them, more gyms are needed. Uh -huh. But then the problem is, the more gyms we have, the less... I'm really surprised he didn't think about this. Now, everyone has a camera. You're constantly... Uh, we're a lot more visible. People have less ability to blend and to hide at any given moment. You could happen to be in frame of a video that goes, well, I'm pretty, this was probably before that, but I think people are just more aware, a lot more physically motivated. Maybe those are the wrong words. But then the problem is, the more gyms we have, the less other shops we have because the space they take up. Mm, the other weekend, yeah. just wanted to do some painting, decorating in the flat. Right? Thought, right, I need some, uh, need some brushes and some paint. Mm -hmm. you, you wouldn't think that'd be hard to find in London. Yet yeah, couldn't find anywhere. Couldn't find any sort of hardware shop, DIY shop. Really? Yeah. If they had a nurse, should do some sit-ups. Do you know what I mean? I'd, I'd be spoiled for choice. I look in some of my uh, girlfriend's magazines and it's all like, you know, eat this, don't eat that, drink water. The amount of times people are telling me, you know, oh, you don't drink enough water, you. Your dad's like 60 odd, right? I've never seen him have a pint of water, yet they're telling us we should have like seven pints a day or something. Mm -hmm. And then they wonder why <laughs> there's a water drought on. <laughs> there's a fella on the telly the other week who was saying, um, we only get so many heartbeats in a lifetime. So we shouldn't be shouldn't be wasting them, should we? We shouldn't be running around lifting weights and all that. Now look at the tortoise. Never rushes about, right? Yeah, it lives to be about 250 years old. You know what I mean? Yeah. When was the last time you heard about a tortoise having a heart attack? doesn't happen. <laughs> and they keep coming up with daft ways of sort of keeping fit, don't they? Paintball. You know what I mean? Chucking paint at each other. I don't know where they're getting the paint from. Oh. Oh, because there's no hardware stores. Oh, I'm a little sad that it's over. That was good. So, on Saturdays I usually, or I've been doing, watching something from Ricky Carl Steve, and it has been, that picture is distracting me, it has been the Ricky Gervais show, but this has been recommended quite a few times over the last month or two, so I wanted to watch it. I enjoyed it. I'm curious as to whether or not there's more like this from Carl with this, just, just his thoughts. You know, I listen to, not all the time, but sometimes I listen to, to people that do commentary. Um, it's not blog what is the word i'm trying to think of podcasts and of course the ricky gervais show is a podcast he did with steve and ricky but just even carl is i would be interested in listening to his rambling thoughts um because they're different a lot of times they're different than my own so it can kind of it, i don't know it gives you perspective that makes you think about things differently I enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.